All right, so we've covered moving around the file system. That's the CD command. We've covered looking at where we are in the file system, and we've covered listing different things in the file system. So now let's actually start creating and deleting and manipulating files in the file system. So I just went back into my home directory. Um, the first thing I'm going to look at is how do I create more directories. So say I want another directory called CS1300 for all my CS1300 work or what have you. Again, if you're using Dropbox, go into your Dropbox folder and create this there because that's really the more useful place for it. I mean, okay, we can take it. Um, so I'm going to make a Dropbox folder. It's not actually going to be linked to Dropbox or anything, but for the sake of demonstration. And at the same time, so to create a folder or to create a directory, you use the make directory command, mkdir. So if I run this and I do ls, we'll see now I have a Dropbox folder. And I can go into my Dropbox folder by doing cd Dropbox. I'm going to do a clear just to make my screen easier to read. And ls is going to be empty because I don't have anything in my Dropbox folder. Uh, but if I wanted to create a folder for one of my classes, I could do mkdir again. And then, you know, whatever you want to do. And now if I do an ls, that directory will be there. So creating directories, mkdir command, makes sense? Pretty straightforward. Well, let's say I don't actually want that directory. I want to get rid of it. There is a corresponding command called rmdir. And if I run rmdir on CS1300 and do an ls, you'll see it's now gone. You will also notice that both with the make directory command and the remove directory command, when it worked correctly, it didn't output anything at all, right? It just did its thing. It didn't spit anything onto the screen. This is standard behavior for Unix and Linux commands. Uh, if they worked correctly, they don't generally print anything to the screen. The only time they generally print to the screen is if an error occurred. So if you run a command like mkdir, and you know it doesn't look like anything happened, that generally means it worked correctly. We can confirm it with the ls command like I was doing, but don't get spooked if you run a command and it just spits you back to a prompt. That generally means that everything worked correctly, or at least that's what it's supposed to mean if people are writing their programs correctly. Um, whereas, if I do something like, I think this will give me an error, it may not. So, yeah. If I run mkdir twice in the same directory, the second time it's going to spit out an error. It's going to say it can't create the directory because it already exists. So most commands behave this way. If you do something wrong, they yell at you. If you do something right, they just finish silently. All right? 